What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Coop's House. I'm back in the shop this week working on the Chevelle. Uh, so you guys remember last week I was able to get the body work extremely close and we got the car actually in primer finally. So the car is one color. The front clip is bolted on, the hood is on, the doors are on. Um, none of it's perfect. Nothing's adjusted out like it should be. Um, we still have to shoot the car with a guide coat and block it out so we can actually figure out where our body work is so we can do our final body work and then prime the spots. But the body is pretty much complete. Um, so we're not gonna work on that this week. This week, we're actually gonna be running our battery cables, running brake lines. We're gonna finish up the aluminum interior. We have to build our aluminum door panels. Uh, the dash has to be put in. We still have to install all of the gauges. So basically the goal for this week is to get the car pretty much completed to the point that we can take it and weigh it and get an accurate weight of what the car will weigh once it is actually finished, going to the track, done. So the reason for that is we need to know the weight so we can figure out what gear set we wanna run in the rear end. Um, and we wanna do that because I wanna go ahead and place the order for the center section so it can be being built while we're finishing the car. So that way on the back end of the build, we're not waiting for parts. So once the car is painted, we can throw the rear end in it, put the drive shaft in it and we're done. So um, first thing I have to do this morning is actually run to town because the Willwood drag brake kit that I bought, um, the center hat that the rotor actually bolts to um, comes with a standard drill size on your lug studs. So we're running five eight studs on the car and I think these came in like a three eighths or a half inch, something like that. So we actually have to take that out to a machine shop. They're gonna drill those out for me and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start putting this thing together. So let's hit the road. Okay, so I took the hats for the brakes to town this morning to get those drilled. Unfortunately, they're not going to be ready for a few days. They told me it'll be next week before they get those finished. But in the meantime, we do have plenty left to do. Um, finally got the car moved back in the shop. So uh, I'm about to start looking at where I'm going to mount this line lock. The game plan for the line lock is actually to put it backwards on the back brakes. So that way when we flip the switch to turn it on, we lock the back brakes out so we can actually control our burnout with the foot brake because that's just how I want to do it for now. So uh, that's the game plan for that. But anyway, that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and figure out where to mount this so we can actually start planning the routing of our lines. So we're going to get right into that right now. Okay, so now that's mounted, I've got the master cylinder mounted. I'm trying to determine if I want to take the master cylinder back off because it's actually starting to show some surface rust. I'm trying to determine if I want to go ahead and put a coat of paint on that or not. Um, but I'm going to show you guys real quick where I mounted this, how it looks, and kind of what my plan is. All right, so here's the line lock. This is the inlet, this is the outlet. So basically this, if it were um, plumbed in the correct way, the line would come from the master cylinder to here, and then from here to the back brakes um, or the front brakes, however it is you prefer it. But I wanna lock out the back brakes. So basically what I want is when I turn this on, I want it to stop fluid from getting to the brakes. So I'm basically gonna run my supply from here to the outlet and then the inlet to the brake. So when I flip the switch and turn this thing on, it's gonna shut it off to where no fluid goes to the back brakes and the only brakes that'll be operating will be the front ones. So that way I can completely control my burnout off of the foot brake. So in theory, that's how it's gonna work. If it doesn't, we'll plumb it in the correct way and we'll just do what we gotta do. But anyway, in theory, that, that's what we're gonna have. So they actually sent a push button line lock control with this. Um, I'll show it to you guys. Yeah, so it's just a little button that you just press and when you release it, the line lock releases. I'm gonna use a toggle switch, so that way whenever I get into the burnout box, I flip the switch, it turns on my line lock, I do my burnout, and then I'll switch it off. 
Um, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Again, if I decide later I don't like that, I can always redo it, but that's how we're gonna plan for it right now. Um, so anyway, I am gonna go ahead and pull this master cylinder back off and uh, go ahead and put a coat of paint on it because I don't want, I don't want it to show a bunch of rust. So um, that'll just save me in the long run. So anyway, gonna go ahead and pull that off, put a coat of paint on it, and then uh, we're gonna get ready to start actually plumbing some bread pies. So now that that's painted, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll pull it down, put it back on the car, get the hardware and all put back on it. And then we're actually gonna start running our brake line. So uh, it's getting late. I don't know how far we're gonna get this evening, but we'll do what we can do. So off camera, I went ahead and put the uh, master cylinder back together and put it on the car. So um, I found the fittings that I need. So we're gonna go ahead and actually cut a couple of lines. I'm not gonna start trying to run them down the car or anything like that. So I'm just gonna build the first line that actually comes off of the master cylinder and goes to the line lock. And we're gonna put that on and then I'm gonna call it a night. So we'll do that real quick. Well, it's been a few days. And I know I said the other night when I was out here that I was fixing to get started on running brake lines. But when I started getting everything together, uh, I got my flange tool out, all that good stuff. Realized that I didn't have everything I needed. My uh, flat file had gone missing, so I couldn't find it. So I had to go buy one. And then I had to work the next day, so I just didn't mess with the car any at all that night. So I have everything that I need now, so I can actually get started today. So today we're gonna run brake lines. And as soon as the brake lines are ran, we're gonna go ahead and run the battery cables. And then that's probably all we're gonna do today. We're gonna wait for Hunter to get here tomorrow and then we're gonna start running our uh, aluminum interior. So, a little bit to do today. Hopefully it doesn't take all day. So, we're gonna work on that. Okay, so there's one line from the master cylinder to the line lock. It's not too shabby. It looks decent to me, but don't be fooled. This is definitely the first time I have ever built brake lines from scratch. So yeah, anyway, luckily I only have to run one to the back and then I'll split it off back there. We'll run it to each side to each caliper. Um, the front will be a little bit aggravating, but maybe not too bad. I hope. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna keep going and finish running the rest of these. So, we may be here a while. Okay, so I had to step away for a few minutes. Um, I had to run back into town and get a couple more things. So, so far I have ran the line for the rear brakes from the front master cylinder to the back, ran it through the frame. Um, 
ended up having to run to town and get a rubber hose to go from the frame to the rear end. So we went and got that, got a couple more fittings. Um, so now we're about to go ahead and run the brake line up the back half, across the rear cross member, and then down to the rear end. So uh, yeah, try to mount this thing and hopefully, hopefully make a connection at the back. So here we go. so it's not perfect, but it should be good enough to get the job done. We've got the brake line ran from the master cylinder all the way to the back of the car to the rear end. So now I need to actually put a fitting on the end of this line um, so that I can put an elbow on and we have a threaded line that's gonna screw onto the elbow, go down to the rear end. Um, it's a rubber flexible line. So that way, whenever the rear end's moving up and down, we won't end up breaking a hard line. So gonna run that rubber line down and then we're gonna split off of that with a three-way and go to each caliper we're gonna run a hard line to both of those um, just quick easy so uh, yeah that's gonna be the next thing we do So now that we got the hard line ran to the back, we've got the rubber line attached. I haven't tightened that yet, but we've got this far. Um, so next thing we really need to do is go ahead, jack up the back end of this thing, pull the tires off, and then start assembling the rear brake. So that way we can run the hard line from the caliper actually to this little junction here, and then figure out how we're actually gonna secure everything. So that's kind of where we're at. It's kind of what we need to do next. So. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that today or if I'm ready to call it a day, but I might do a little bit of it. thought about actually going through with this today but took my hats had them drilled to match the uh, wheel studs and I should have had them drilled a little bit bigger um, I had them drilled for five eight studs but they uh, they fit a little tight so I'm gonna have to take them back have them drilled a little more you come to visit buddy anyway gonna have to take them and have them drilled out a little bit more to be able to clear these because they fit extremely tight so I'm um, not gonna be able to actually get them on today, which sucks. It's kind of what I wanted to do. But anyway, it is what it is. So we're gonna call it a day on the car because yeah, we, we can't really do anything back here. I mean, I guess I could do the front brakes, but it's fine. So we'll try to get this figured out tomorrow and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so we're back in the shop today. I went this morning and bought a three quarter inch drill bit so we were able to drill out those uh, heads for the rear rotors. So we're gonna try that first thing this morning, try to get those holes drilled out where they need to be so that they'll fit the studs so we can finally get these rear brakes assembled. So we're gonna get on that right to begin with, then we'll get on the front brakes. So hopefully we don't run into any more issues and we can get this knocked out today. So fingers crossed, let's go. Okay, so we get them drilled out. Let's see, you can see which ones are bigger. So, uh, did a pretty decent job of actually keeping those centered and all that stuff. So, about to test fit this. If it works, we're gonna clean it up, get all this metal out of here, wipe it up, and then uh, 
we're gonna get this thing put on. We're gonna go ahead and drill out the other side. The way it's ready when we get to the other side. So um, yeah, let's just really, really hope this fits. All right, cool. So they fit. We got a little bit of play, but uh, I think we'll be just fine. Once we get the wheel bolted on, everything tightened down, I think we'll be fine. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, drill out the other one. That way, when we get to the other side, all we have to do is put it together. We don't have to stop and drill anything. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then uh, we're gonna start assembling these brakes. Took a little bit of time but the brake lines are hooked up at the front and the back so everything's hooked up and ready for fluid so we're about to fill the master cylinder up and then hunter is going to get in the car and he's going to pump the brakes up we're going to start with the caliper that's farthest from the master cylinder which is going to be the passenger rear 
And then we're gonna go passenger rear, driver rear, passenger front, driver front. Cause you wanna start with the one that's farthest away, work your way close. So fill this thing up with fluid and then we'll get rocking. We've been at this since Easter's. <laughs> uh, well, we made a mistake on the rear brakes and didn't realize that the actual inlet for the line was covered up by a sticker. So we had to go back and reevaluate that. And we've been pumping the brakes for well over an hour. Yeah. Nothing so far. Don't know why, but we're gonna keep pumping. Yay! All right, so we had to do a little bit off camera because our phone died, so we weren't able to actually film everything, but let's start over. Rude. All right, so we had to do a little bit off camera because the camera died, so we weren't able to actually film, but while off camera, uh, we actually finished bleeding the brakes, so the brakes actually work now. Um, we ran into an issue because the previous owner um, actually cut the rod that goes from the brake pedal into the master cylinder that actually pumps the master cylinder. So basically what we did was we went into town, we got a long bolt that was about the same diameter that had the same threads uh, as the rod and we cut that down to the length we needed, put it in there and now everything works like it should. So we've got brakes. Uh, we went ahead and we ran the uh, hot wire because that's that was the longest span of wire we had to run. So we ran the hot wire to the battery in the trunk um, and we actually started wiring all of that together in the back like it's supposed to be. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to put the wheels and tires back on this thing. We're going to hook our coilovers back up, get it sitting back down on its own weight. And then we're fixing to get started putting on the rear bumper, uh, actually hooking everything up in the back. We're going to work on the interior and get this thing completed to the point that we can go and get an accurate weight. So. Actually have the brake situated we have the battery cable ran sort of we still have to secure that down like it needs to be but now that all that's actually finished um, we can actually go ahead and get started on the metal interior work um, we're gonna go ahead and get all that stuff cut and formed bent and then we're gonna take it back out and we're gonna go ahead and sand it so we can shoot it with the uh, aerosol bed liner like we sprayed the trunk with um, because I don't know if you guys know, but raw aluminum will blind you in the sun. So we're gonna spray it black so that way it's not so bright. We're gonna do the dash the same way. Uh, so we got all these interior panels, door panels, and we still have to cut the dash for gauges. Um, so we got quite a bit left to do today. So we're gonna get to work on that. So hopefully we get it done. So let's go.
Well, somewhat finished. Yeah. Then another big week this week. So this week we managed to go ahead and get uh, the rear brakes installed. All the brakes are bled, uh, and we have functioning four-wheel disc brakes now. Yes. So on top of that, we actually got a majority of the aluminum interior put in. Yep. Just got two pieces and a dash, or three pieces and a dash. Yep. So basically now we have our uh, aluminum quarter pieces to finish right there in front of the wheel tubs. We have our door panels to build, yep. and we've already built the dash, but we do have to cut out the holes for our gauges. We have to paint the dash, and we have to put it in. Yep. So next week we'll be finishing up all of that. We'll be putting the front clip back on, and we'll be taking this thing to get an accurate weight, which means rear end will get built. We'll be getting ready to build a rear end for this thing. So. We are actually getting really, really, really close to the finish line. And once we get there, race time. Race time. We well, gotta paint, but. Yeah, we do have to paint. <laughs> so in the coming weeks, we'll actually be guide coating and blocking this car out. Uh, but we're getting down to the wire. Everything is super tedious right now. It's not really that it's big stuff we have left, it's just tedious stuff. Time consuming, tedious. Very. So, we hope that you guys will tune in with us next week because next week is going to be another big week when we find out exactly what the car weighs. So, that's going to be awesome. Make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications so you know when we post. Talk to us in the comments because the more you engage with us, the more our videos are pushed to other people with similar interests. Yep, and also follow our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We got it all. And Facebook is behind the scenes and just yeah. updates on anything if we can't upload or anything. Yeah, you get to see a little bit of extra on what's going on here. So yep. we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. Deuces.